How to set up a latching circuit with an AC contactor. Let's begin by understanding the wiring process step by step. Step one, connect neutral wire to A1 of AC contactor. Step two, connect live wire to A2. Either end is okay. When power is supplied, the contactor closes its contacts. When the power is removed, contacts open. Let's proceed. Step three, cut the live wire and strip the insulation off the wires. Step four, introduce a normally open start push button in the circuit. Apply power and press the start button. The contactor should engage and disengage when the button is pressed and released. To enable the self-locking function, additional wiring is needed. Step 5. Connect a wire from normally open contact 13 to the start button. Step 6. Connect a wire from normally open contact 14 to A2 of the contactor coil. Apply power and press the button. The contactor should engage when the button is pressed and remain engaged even after releasing the button. To disengage the contactor, a stop button should be added. Step 7. Cut the live wire and strip the insulation off the wires. Step 8. Introduce a normally closed stop push button in the circuit. Apply the power. Press the start button, the contactor engages and latches. Press the stop button, the contactor disengages. If you want to control a motor using the latching circuit, you will need to add a three-pole circuit breaker switch. Step one, attach three wires, yellow, green, and red, to the CB. Step two, connect the other ends of the three wires to L1, L2, and L3 of the contactor. Step three, connect three wires, yellow, green, and red, from the motor to T1, T2, and T3 of the contactor. Apply power and press the start button, the motor starts. Press the stop button, the motor stops. 